Hey guys, how you doing? This is Dink Gamer coming at you. And yet again, we are doing Detroit Become Human. Let me just put a shout out and say thank you to the folks that have liked this video and that have liked this series. I've gotten some great feedback and some great comments from you guys. Thank you so much. That means a lot to me. And I just want to say that let's keep it going with some more great content with Detroit Become Human. As you know, this is Dink Gamer, and if you like this video, please go down below and smack that like button. The big thumbs up. Please give me the big thumbs up. Hey, I'm going to make it easy. I am looking for five likes. Just simply five likes. Single digits. Only want five. Please like this video. If you have not yet subscribed, please go down below and subscribe to my channel and do not forget to ring the bell because if you ring the bell, you don't have to do anything but wait for the notifications to come through on your phone if a man every has not discovered time. Something he will die for. He's not fit to live. That's a quote from Martin Luther King. I thought you'd like it. Anyway, <laughs> I love how she throws the random uh, quotes and stuff out there. <clears throat> but anyway, um as I said, if you ring the bell, you will not have to do anything because you will automatically be notified each and every time I upload a video. And don't forget to leave me your comments. A lot of people have been leaving me comments lately and I've been responding back. I think it's wonderful you guys are leaving some great comments and I'm really super stoked and happy uh, to read and hear that stuff. So let's go ahead and continue on here <clears throat> with Detroit back home here, man. So last time we were Marcus and we were in a, basically an android graveyard or an android, um, oh, I don't want to say dump, what's the word I'm looking for? Landfill, there we go. And he was broken apart a little bit. We had to find some legs and an eye and all that sort of stuff. But last scene, he was climbing up out of the pit, grabbed a coat, or he ripped that little thing off the side of his head and he said, I am Marcus, or my name is Marcus, and... Off he went in the distance. Oh, here's Connor. Looks like he's back. Find Amanda. Okay. Now, am I looking for the Bart Simpson Amanda hugging kiss? <laughs> oh, that's one of those uh, sand gardens or whatever where they... Um, Where they use a rake, give it the funky design. Hello, Amanda. Connor, it's good to see you. Your predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. The new deviance could be unpredictable, but it wasn't careful enough. I hope you won't make the same mistake. I don't intend to. When a Connor model is destroyed, its memory is transferred to the next one. But some data can be lost in the process. Avoid being destroyed. It will be better for you and the investigation. I understand. The interrogation seemed... challenging. What did you think of the Deviant? It showed signs of PTSD after being abused by its owner. As if its original program had been completely replaced by new instructions. This... Lieutenant Anderson has been officially assigned to the Deviancy case. What do you make of him? I find him unpleasant and unprofessional. He seems to have an addictive personality, has a lack of respect for procedure, and despises androids, which makes our relationship difficult. Unfortunately, we have no choice but to work with him. What do you think is the best approach? I will adapt to his personality. It is in the best interest of the investigation that I avoid conflict and try to accommodate his psychology. Hmm. 
More and more androids show signs of deviancy. There are millions in circulation. If they become unstable, the consequences will be disastrous. You're the most advanced prototype Cyberlife has ever created. If anyone can figure out what's happening, it's you. You can count on me, Amanda. Pick up the investigation where the previous Connor left off and put a stop to this. Mall. Oh. Huh. Hurry, Connor. There's little time. So, apparently, this Amanda is part of Cyberlife, and she realizes that something is going on with their androids. And I don't know how many of these Connors they have in the mix, but... <clears throat> Alright. Lieutenant Anderson. Can I help you? I'm here to see Lieutenant Anderson. Do you have authorization? Yes. Bloop, bloop, bleep, bloop, bloop, bloop. Lieutenant Anderson hasn't arrived yet, but you can wait at his desk. Okay. My goodness. Jesus. Has spoken of intolerable provocation that cannot go unanswered. The countries in the I'm looking for Lieutenant Anderson's desk. Have called for It's that desk right there. So far there has been no response from either Moscow or Washington. The three laws of robotic parenting. You and you come with me. When Cyberlife initially released their child range, the public were skeptical of purchasing a family. Now the collection is one of Cyberlife's best sellers. But is this really a surprise? Customizable removable LED, no no hunger, no expensive childcare, no new clothes, and not to mention no smelly diapers. The perfect child is only a click away. Huh. That is... This game is pretty wild, man, I tell you. It's like, uh... I, I don't know that we will necessarily... Excuse me. Do you know what time Lieutenant Anderson usually arrives? Depends on where he was the night before. If we're lucky, we'll see him before noon. Thanks. Huh. Dark Heavy Metal release date was that 2021? Call Hank Anderson. Hi, this is Hank. Not here at the moment. You can leave a message if that's what turns you on, but don't expect me to call back. Beep. Whatever. 
Lieutenant Anderson, this is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. It's almost noon, and I'm waiting for you at the office. Use your brain, not your android, android free space. Okay. Caught 90% polyester 10%. Jimmy's bar phosphorus. Canine hair, St. Bernard dog. Hmm. Multi department unit responsible for the Red Ice Network dismantle of 2028. Now I recognize Connor. Ah, uh, bum 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 bum. Cal calories Sorry guys, I had a bit of a delay there. Had something going on, but uh, you know, let's get back to it. So the donuts are 452 calories, saturated fatty acids 13 grams, cholesterol 19 milligrams, and carbohydrates 51 grams. Oh, but they're so good. <laughs> uh, Asian Shishigashiri, Shishigashara. Shohin? Like a Japanese maple tree? Something like that? Uh, cold coffee, traces of caffeine. Okay, so... We've got eight of eight. There he is. Hello, Lieutenant. My name is Connor. I'm the android sent by Cyberlife. God, I saw you get shot in the head last night. My predecessor was unfortunately destroyed. But Cyberlife transferred its memory and sent me to replace it. This incident should not affect the investigation. Oh, Jesus. Hank! In my office! I've got 10 new cases involving androids on my desk every day. We've always had isolated incidents. Old ladies losing their android maids and that kind of crap. But now, we're getting reports of assaults and even homicide, like that guy last night. This isn't just Cyberlife's problem anymore. It's now a criminal investigation, and we've got to deal with it before the shit hits the fan. I want you to investigate these cases and see if there's any link. Huh. Why me? Why do I got to be the one to deal with this shit? I am the least qualified cop in the country to handle this case. I know jack shit about androids, Jeffrey. I can barely change the settings on my own phone. Everybody's overloaded. I think you're perfectly qualified for this type of investigation. Bullshit! The truth is, nobody wants to investigate these fucking androids, and you let me hold in the bag. Cyberlife sent over this android to help with the investigation. It's a state-of-the-art prototype. It'll act as your partner. 
No fucking way. I don't need a partner, and certainly not this plastic prick. Hank, you are seriously starting to piss me off. You are a police lieutenant. You are supposed to do what I say and shut your goddamn mouth. You know what my goddamn mouth has to say to you? Okay. Huh? Okay. I'll pretend like I didn't hear that. So I don't have to add any more pages to your disciplinary folder, because it already looks like a fucking novel. This conversation is over. Jeffrey, Jesus Christ, why are you doing this to me? You know how much I hate these fucking things. Why are you doing this to me? Listen, I've had just about enough of your bitch. Either you do your job or you hand in your badge. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got work to do. Whoa. <laughs> <sighs> Okay, um... I wonder whether Lieutenant Anderson is really the best person for this investigation. Hey, I don't need a machine to tell me how to handle my men, okay? So get the fuck out of my office. Whoa, okay. Have a nice day, Captain. <laughs> I like how Connor is nice and polite. <laughs> so I was actually told by a friend, and I don't know if this is true or not, because... I haven't really investigated it, but I understand the destruction of my predecessor may have been unpleasant for you, Lieutenant. I'll do everything I can to make sure it doesn't happen again. In any case, I'd like you to know I'm very happy to be working with you. I'm sure we'll make a great team. Is there a desk anywhere I could use? No one's using that one. Anyway, uh, the person who portrays Connor, I was told, is a YouTuber, actually. So, that's kind of cool. A lot of people don't appreciate having androids around. I was wondering, is there any reason in particular you despise me? Yeah. There is one. <laughs> yeah, there is one. You have a dog, right? How do you know that? The dog hairs on your chair. I like dogs. What's your dog's name? What's it to you? Sumo. I call him Sumo. You're a Detroit Gears fan, right? Denton Carter scored 53% of his shots from the three-point line yesterday. Did you see the game? That's what I was watching at the bar last night. Oh. Uh... We went down, we went up. We went down. <laughs> Do you listen to Knights of the Black Death? I really like that music. It's full of energy. You listen to heavy metal? Well, I don't really listen to music as such, but I'd like to. Have you known Captain Fowler for long? Yeah, too long. I was wondering, do you always arrive at the office at this time? I arrive when I arrive. Stop busting my balls, okay? If you have any files on Deviants, I'd like to take a look at them. The terminal's on your desk. Knock yourself out. Hmm. Well, all right then.
AL series disappearance Gordon Lopez okay the plaintiff reports that he left his Android at home as usual when he went to work when he returned the Android was nowhere to be found no trace of a break-in in the apartment the Android may have left the home without being ordered to The plaintiff claims to have been attacked by the AV500 777-821 model Android working as a waiter in the Fast Coney Dogs restaurant chain, situated at 842 Chamberlain Avenue. The plaintiff claims the Android lunged at him unexpectedly and attempted to, to strangle the man before leaving the scene. The Android remains at large. The plaintiff claims that uh, excuse me, the plaintiff claims to have been attacked by her android, an AP700, uh, hashtag 480913802 model. The android also trashed several rooms in the house before taking flight. The plaintiff, the manager of the Eden Club, reported the unexplained disappearance of a sex android, model WR400. Number 6417908311, the android disappeared after accompanying a customer to his home, home and never returned to the club. Leo Manfred was found unconscious in the home of his father, Carl Manfred. The latter's witness statement attests to an altercation between his son and the house android. The android is thought to be a prototype unknown model and serial number and was destroyed at the scene by attending officers. The plaintiff claims he was violently attacked by his domestic android, an AX400 model. Whoa, 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 wait, 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 wait. This looks like... The android had just returned from being repaired the previous day and had shown signs of aggression in the past. Yes, but that's not how it went down. Uh, victim, Todd Williams. Yes, Todd. That's the one. Two hundred and forty three files. First dates back nine months. It all started in Detroit and quickly spread across the country. An AX400 is reported to have assaulted a man last night. That could be a good starting point for our investigation. shouldn't let your personal situation hamper the investigation, Lieutenant. You don't know what the hell you're talking about. So why don't you just run your program and shut the fuck up? I'm going to file a report with my superiors that you refuse to work on this investigation. If it was up to me, I'd throw the lot of you in a dumpster and set a match to it. So stop pissing me off. But things are gonna get nasty. Lieutenant, uh, sorry to disturb you. I have some information on the AX-400 that attacked the guy last night. It's been seen in the Ravendale district. I'm on it. Oh, here we go. Just had to get a little physical. Throw some aggression. Okay, well, I just saw and noticed that um, we got 64% on that particular mission. So, we did, or rather we were able to do quite a bit of it. So, that's cool. Um, where else it was supposed to end up, I'm not sure. But we are going to call that another video, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed yourself. And if you did, please go down below and smack that like button. As I said in the beginning of this video, just shooting for five likes. Five 
likes on this video. Um, if you do like this video and you want to subscribe to my channel, just go down below and hit the subscribe button. It's simple as just one little click. Click subscribed. Click subscribed. Would love to have you on board. Would love to have you hang with me. Hope I'm giving you guys some decent content. If I am, please go down below and throw me a comment. You know, just let me know what's going on. I had some great comments the other day, especially on this particular game and series. Um, so I just want to thank everyone who commented. And like I said, I was able to respond back. Um, it's been a great conversation. So thanks again for that. And guys, as always, remember, Dink Gamer says you are never too old to game. See you next time.